841 new this morning. The holidays means more shared meals and possibly new fitness goals. It's going to be hard to stay up on all those, especially with the holiday eating. It is, but there are so many workouts to choose from yoga, CrossFit, kickboxing. So which ones are best? Well, Fox Carolina's Michelle Zhu is finding out talking with the experts right now. And with the holidays right around the corner and New Year is coming up, a lot of people might be thinking about their fitness goals. And we've been breaking it down all morning long. We've been talking about weightlifting, cardio, HIIT training, even warming up before an exercise. But there's also yoga, a bar, and what is the other one? Pilates. So there's just so many different workouts to keep in mind. But what are, what's the difference and how do you choose which one is best for you? I'm standing with an exercise specialist this morning, so thanks for joining me. Um, if you could tell me about yoga and bar Pilates, what's the main difference between all of them? Okay, there, there are similarities between the three. If you want to break down the differences, yoga tends to be uh, focused on position. So you move through a range of motion to a particular pose, hold the pose, build strength, builds muscular endurance and flexibility, and you get the mind-body connection. Pilates is more core-centric, so we're really focusing on the core, but also working total body for those same goals of flexibility, muscular strength, and endurance. Bar kind of takes yoga, Pilates, and ballet, fuses it together, rhythmical mu movements that work the total body as well. Gotcha, and I know we have someone to demonstrate yeah. for us down here, yeah. and is she doing Pilates? She's doing Pilates moves, so she's gonna start out with the clam, and then she'll move um, from that pose and position to another exercise that uh, gives you a variation. So with Pilates, yoga and bar, you can kind of do levels. You know, you, it's good for a beginner coming in or we can do variations that make it a little more challenging. There's also another move called the hundred. Um, yeah, that goes where you're going to lay on your back, engaging the core by lifting your head and shoulders. Um, and then you, you do sets of 10 with the arms maintaining that position. Very cool to see that in action this morning. And my last question, how can people best choose the exercise for them? Okay, so uh, enjoyability is a big factor. You want something that you like. That's going to be a big deal. Convenience is also important. If you're going to a group exercise session, we always encourage you to kind of look at the credentials of the instructor. Do they have a good good background? Have they been trained well? Do they, they uh, approach it with um, a personality that's going to help um, engage you, but also give variations for different levels. Gotcha. Well, thanks for all your insight, Belinda. I appreciate Absolutely. you joining me. So there you have it. We've gone through many different exercise techniques as you get prepared for the holidays and the new year right around the corner. It's been a fun morning, but for now, I'll send it back to you in studio.